Ace Family. Welcome back to our channel, guys. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Switch it up a little bit, a little slow. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? <laughs> if you are new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the family. So I know you guys are probably wondering, where are we right now? This is different than what you guys are used to seeing. That's because we are on vacation. Cheers. Should we take a toast? <laughs> Actually, I don't want to drink because I already have to pee because I'm nervous. So I just like not drink. Why are you nervous? It's just it's nerve wracking. <laughs> What's nerve wracking? It's not nerve wracking to you? No. What the hell? Who are you? <laughs> What's nerve wracking? Okay, this is this is something you guys need to know is in our relationship, Austin is the stronger one. Okay, so where is this going? I'm <laughs> just saying. <laughs> he's so just, are you he's nervous really about strong. He's like I think I'm strong, but like he's really strong. Okay. Because what I always tell you though, I always tell you like I know, I know. I wish you guys could be a fly in the room yeah. in our conversations and see us day to day because you, then you'd really understand why you watch us. Right. But I always tell her, like, as long as our kids are healthy, right, that's like really the only thing that really matters. Literally. The only thing that matters in the entire world is <laughs> that we're healthy. Yes. So, how do we get into this video? Okay, so I'm just going to get into it and. We talked about this a couple weeks ago. We were like, you know, when we finally make this video, Austin was saying, I'm just gonna let you talk, right? right? And I remember when you said that, you said that because you were like, you just are very passionate about this. And like, I feel like if anything, I'm the one that has really been, he's been affected, we both have been affected, but I've been unaffected on a very emotional level. Yes. Um, and Austin hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. It, for me, I don't know, I just look at life differently. Like I always tell her like, as long as you know we have each other, as long as our kids are healthy, that's the only thing that matters. Everything else we'll figure out. So majority of this video will be Catherine doing the talking, just because like you said, she's more passionate about this and she's thought about this for a while. Um, obviously I'm gonna chime in and say my piece. Um, so we are here to finally share with you our house story. Um, because it's quite interesting and we're here to educate you guys as well on the mistakes that we've made um, because I feel like we're not here to play the victim by no means and her and I, I talked about this before um, I know she wants to go in detail about you know a lot of stuff but we always balance each other out and I'm always the one to you know I don't like talking about everything that goes in our life as you guys know we're never here to talk about to address all the drama a relationship just everything that we go through we, we, we're not those type of people um, but we will you know talk about this situation because of how people have created the narrative for us so would you like to start oh yeah Fuck it. I'm fucking going <laughs> in right now I'm fucking, you fucking you talk your shit right now but whatever okay uh, okay um, <laughs> Okay. And I don't know when she gets started, she's gonna really get going. That's why I'm like trying to tell you my piece first. What just one thing about what he said. So when he mentioned about people like um, like taking a story and then making it what it what they think it is or what they want it to be, I will say that it's not always haters. It's not always like a lot of times, most of the time, people just don't know. They just don't know, and they're asking us questions, and they want to know, and they want to know. But the thing is, the truth is, is that sometimes we can't just like make a video about something because we don't even know yeah. how to go about it because we're still trying to figure it out yeah. and we don't even really know <laughs> yeah we don't even really know so why are we going to address something or talk about something when we don't really know what's going on we still live a real life we're a real couple we're a real family yeah um okay so let's go in okay <laughs> she's got to go in <laughs> let me take some drinks real quick. <laughs> okay. What? Oh shit. <laughs> By the way, I told her I don't want this video to be an hour long. She keeps getting mad at me because she's like, I'm gonna tell them everything. <laughs> okay, let's just try to make this very sweet. At the end, he's gonna be point. laying down the couch. <laughs> okay. Um, Alright? No long with it. I don't like when they're just sitting here listening to us rambling for an hour, but okay, we got this. We got okay, this. it's not rambling though. I know, babe, it's juicy. It's not juicy. It's not juicy. They want to know. It's juicy. Give them that juice. All right. <laughs> you guys fucking ready right now? Freaking go in, man. 
I, I know we're like laughing and stuff, but this is serious. Okay. So before I start what I'm about to say, I just want to say that, okay. I love our supporters so much. Like you guys don't understand. Like I love you guys so fucking much because you guys like literally like you guys see this this fake shit or you see things that are taken out of context and you guys just sit there and you're like, fuck, when is Catherine Austin gonna say something about this? Like I know it's not true, like speak up. And honestly, I'm gonna tell you the truth. The truth is is that we there's been a lot of damage that has been caused to us and our relationship because of the fake shit and the false shit. And if you think about it, if you really pay attention, it's one or two outlets every time. It's the only two. There's no other outlets. If I can say one thing that I regret in my entire career, one thing, it would be that we've never hired PR. We've never hired PR. We've never had PR. We've, we've done some of the biggest events of like our industry we've do, we've done so many entrepreneurial things so many philanthropy things so much giving back we've done all that and we've never had pr cover us and just so you guys know this 99 percent of the people in our industry 99 percent of entertainers can like owe their careers to pr like we've never had it so if you really think about it these one or two outlets and these like T channel nobodies that have been making videos about us and talking about us in a negative light, it's because they make money off of us and they're using you, your clicks, they're using you. So keep that in mind whenever you see something. If we're not speaking on it, it's because either it's not true, we don't want to give it attention, or we don't even know the answer to it. We're, we're still trying to figure it out. So stop being so bitter, stop being so angry, stop attacking us if we're not addressing something we will eventually we will when the time is right we will just like today we're addressing our house situation we're addressing exactly what happened from the beginning to now and it's very very like it was very private it was never something that we were going to ever address it wasn't something we were going to talk about because we were going to deal with it internally and we were going to like figure it out on our own and we didn't think that like we would have to tell anyone but what happens is when there's a, when there's people that do bad things when there's people that take advantage of people steal from people lie to people eventually their karma catches on and because we were involved we were like the front of it like it was like almost like we were it was like our fault almost and now now it's we're at a position where we have to speak on it because what i learned in life is if you don't speak on something yourself someone's going to do it for you so, you are going in right now. So, I, okay. I love you for this right now. So, I'll sit back like, I wish I was, I was on the other side of the camera watching you like, shit girl, okay. go ahead and do your thing. So, number one, okay? If you have been watching us from day one, you obviously, as I'm talking, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, fuck yeah, I remember that. Oh yeah, I remember that. Oh my God, yeah, that makes sense. That's tying in. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And if you're new here, you've only been here for a little bit, um, I respect that and I thank you for being here because I'm gonna like also like um, Say some things to make you understand because not everyone's gonna understand obviously as I'm talking. So number one Okay, so when we were living at we actually did like a documentary thing on this So when we were living at not the house we were living at last but the house before we got our house broken into if you guys remember uh, we went to Disney with uh, one of our fans that we took to Disney that night and we, we came home. I was eight months pregnant at the time with my daughter, Leia, and we had Elle. She was like, I think she was like almost two or she was two years old. And long story short, we had our house broken into. The reason why we had our house broken into was because at that time, our fame just like shot up and we were having a lot of people coming to our house every day. And basically it was like a tourist attraction, right? For that whole year, we didn't really say anything. We kept it to ourselves. And then I remember praying to God. I was like, please, God, like, like show me how to get out of this situation. Like, show me, like, something, you know? Because I can't keep living like this. I can't keep, like, walking by my window and, like, people being outside and, like, screaming my name. I can't, like... Like there was times where I'd try to leave my driveway and there was people in my driveway, people coming to our house and dropping things off. One time someone dropped a dog off and I, that was crazy because the dog was there overnight and the freaking coyotes in the neighborhood, I don't know. So long story short, we had our house broken into. It was really public. 
Um, we filmed it. I told Austin to film it. It was really unlike me, but I was like, we have to film this because we have to let people know why we're moving, blah, 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 blah. It was this whole thing. And because at the time, like, it was so public, someone made a fake receipt and said that we hired, like, a fake cop and, like, people were saying that the shit wasn't true. And anyways, just so you guys know, I suffered from severe PTSD from that moment on for about a year or so, and it still continues to live on. One of the reasons why my kids sleep in my bed with me is because I have severe PTSD. I envision like someone coming in my house and like taking my kids. Like I literally just live in fear. Like that's just like how I've been for a long time. So we moved into that rental house a week after we had a house broken into and I was pregnant. I was about to have my baby and so much was going on that I wasn't like taking care of my health. Like I was wasn't like thinking of my health but in that time like um, we had already been planning on building our house so what happened was we Austin found this lot that we both fell in love with um, I, think they, I think they know too because we we're filming we from, filmed our back, everything. From, no, from our backyard um, we had that crazy view like we do now and that view you were able to see those houses being built and yeah. that's how I discovered those homes so I went over there on my little dirt bike, as you know, we ride those dirt bikes, the rat gang. And um, I pretty much asked the builder when I was there, I was like, hey, I see those are two homes. What are you doing with the lot? Is it possible to join the house and make it one house? Because for me, I was like, this should definitely be just one big house on this hill. And he was like, well, we're getting ready to build three houses up here, make it like a mini cul-de-sac. Um, but let me get back to you in a week or two and let you know if we can, if it's possible to make it one home. Mm -hmm. So then he got back to us and said it was possible. Yeah, so um, I fell in love with the, <coughs> the land. I love the view. And I think, like, maybe desperate isn't the right word, but I was, like, kind of desperate to just find a house that I can, like, live in, raise my family, and also do what we do for a living, and that's be on YouTube and create content for you guys and entertain you guys. Real quick, sorry to cut you off. Uh -huh. what's going on. Another big point was we either were going to move into a gated community or we were going to find a property to be able to be isolated away from everyone else. Mm -hmm. um, and so the house that we live in now, that property we found was a property that we were very excited and happy about that we found it in that time frame because it was super private yeah. and we were away from everybody because yeah. our number one thing was we needed privacy. And we thought like, this is, oh, this is meant to be. Okay, now I'm just gonna get go right into it, right? Because now I explain like how we even got to this house situation, right? It's two yeah. houses, combine them. And it took us about a year to like finish. Like it was a lot of building and stuff. Okay. The contractor who was on site, who created the relationship with Austin, who got Austin to basically be interested in the house, right? The guy who was there every day, he was not a licensed contractor and he was using someone else's contracting license and we were unaware of it for two years, okay? So he lied to us and said that, you know, he's the contractor, but in reality, the real contractors was this contracting company called TNL Constructions. So they're the real contractors to, the, to this house and the only licensed contractors to this house. Okay, that's number one. Okay, I think you know where I'm going with this. Because of that, he was able to get everyone on his team to basically screw us. So. There was the um, architect who made a lot of money from us, who screwed us, ended up screwing us in the end. Um, there was the realtor who orchestrated the entire deal, who had a lot of back uh, uh, points on the back end, who screwed us, bad, probably the worst. The contractor, the fake contractor who you've seen in our videos, he did not have a license, he screwed us. You see, there was a lot of people, right? And I'm not trying to play the victim because at the end of the day, I know that we made a mistake and the mistake is that we didn't have the right team and the right people involved looking over things and we should have had that. So I will never play the victim and I will never say that this is all like their fault. When we went into escrow, before we went into escrow uh, and purchased the home, I had told the contractor, I looked at him and I said, listen, I only want this house if we can have a gate at the bottom of the hit of the hill i yeah. said and i will not i don't want this house if i can't have that gate and if i can't have a gate surrounding my home and ficus trees like really really big ficus obviously the ficus trees I, that's something i would get um 
as a third party but i really want ficus trees around my entire press premises of my home i literally told him i was like i want the great wall of china around here so that i can live in peace and enjoy my home and live here for you know 10 years plus or whatever the case is right he said yes catherine we will do it we will do it i'll give you anything you want right and that's obviously what he wanted us to think he was going to give us everything we want we made the mistake because we went into escrow without getting the certificate of occupancy okay so let me explain but, something to you but 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 he explained to us that we were able to get it like asap yeah he kept saying next week next week next week but the thing is we learn now from other realtors and other people in the industry you do not buy a house unless you have the certificate of occupancy explain what that even is okay so a certificate of occupancy is something that you get it's a piece of paper that you get from the city that says that they have looked everything over in the house and and signed off on everything for so you for you to even live in the house so that's plumbing that's pool that's power everything power. like in like even the stairs if they're safe the walls everything has to be signed off in order to get their certificate of occupancy we never got it we still do not have it we never got a certificate of occupancy we are not legally be able to be occupants in our home that we've been paying for that we purchased for almost three years we have never had a certificate of occupancy oh, real quick just so you guys know we as buyers are unable to get the certificate of occupancy like we can't do shit about no that. it's the city it's the city but i'm gonna go in it's on the that builder later. it's everything that she's talking about regarding the people who are involved you can have a billion you can have a billion dollars you cannot pay for a certificate of occupancy okay so let me explain to you how it even got to that point it was unbelievable and i'm gonna be completely honest with you it caused me so much pain because i was dealing with this internally i couldn't speak on it for a long time i kept saying oh my god i can't wait to tell people like how badly these people screwed us i can't wait to tell the world and like for a long time i was just like fuck like this is so unfair like the house is not finished like why do we have these freaking tubs here okay so just so you guys know we have to say one thing real quick real quick just so you guys know she didn't want to make this video for a very long time even before people were making up stories about this yeah and i was telling her listen there's gonna be a right time for this video and so you can see how passionate she is okay about this wait okay so let me explain something when you don't have a certificate of occupancy you don't have gas in your house it's illegal so we've never had gas so just so you guys know our winters are getting really cold in la we live in a glass house our winters are our first winter that we spent i was pregnant with my son and i had two babies we were freezing in our house we were so freaking cold there was no heat no nothing and for the people that are going to say oh don't you have those little heaters those things don't work when you put three the freaking the whole electricity freaking shuts up you were saying since we didn't have the certificate of occupancy uh we didn't have like a lot of these things like hot water yeah um uh, well we like had hot we had, water we had temporary a, a temporary like hot water it's like really janky it's like oh it's yeah. really bad yeah but like so that's what i want to say we want to make sure we, we we had it it was just temporary like it was it was um how to explain it like it was jimmy rig <laughs> if you guys know what that means <laughs> just so that we can have hot water yeah but just so you guys know when we first moved into our house we didn't have hot water and i was giving my babies yeah. full bath because, because i didn't have a choice because they're wondering like if you guys didn't have all the things how are you actually living there yeah so like like that's what so, so we shit about that? jimmy jimmy fucking ring is that even a word <laughs> jimmy ring like for example chef will has been cooking on little burners for, for over two years so we've been using all of these for the past couple years to cook just so you like if you know, really watch our videos you and we tried our best to like not show certain things because obviously first of all it looks bad second of all you guys be wondering like why are you guys not using actually your appliances Stove. okay so the first the first 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 thing that i realized oh we got screwed oh my god we this is a money pit like we got fucking screwed was when we moved into our house and literally not even three weeks in living in our house my front door was warping so basically like the heat was making the door like like fall apart and i asked the builder i go um i go what's going on with the door i go we paid forty-five thousand dollars for this door. This door was supposed to be like this really nice door. It's supposed to be ma ma mahogany wood or something mm -hmm. like that. And come to find out, that shit was plywood. So he was like, 
telling us that something was $45,000, but he was really spending $2,000 and then pocketing all of the money. What he would do is he would get workers to, to do it and then he would fire them because he didn't want to pay them and then get new workers and then the workers didn't know what was going on. So like there's a lot of things that weren't done right. Literally it rains in my house every time someone uses one of the bathrooms. Like you'll see like water downstairs like coming down. Like I literally have videos, I'll probably put it on here. The leak here, every time it rained, as you can see, like this puddle situation, every time it rained. Yeah, if you look at it there, it'll bubble up every time because what's happening, water's getting through the AC condensation uh, uh, returns. On the returns coming through here, and what happens, water gets in there and leaks through it and finds its way through here. So we've been mm -hmm. always having to repair this. It looks great right now, but you can see from the yeah. last rain, it still found it. So. So every time I saw that it was gonna rain, I knew that this would start leaking, so we would just like move this a little over, um, or just move whatever we had here over just so that it wouldn't rain on it. Uh, and then just so you guys know, Uncle Ed is been in contracting. It's, he's been in the business, in the building business for 30? Yeah, 35 years. 35 years. So he obviously knows what he's talking about, and this is just, Unacceptable. We used to have leaks all through here and we repaired those, we stopped those, but um, we used to run through these chases. These chases are all AC ducts, so what happens on the roof, the water gets through those ducts, through the units up there somehow, find itself in these ducts, and with it blowing, it'll push the water this way, or it'll chase it inside the duct, and then you'll find leaks where eventually it, it, there might be a seam that's open, and then you'll have these leaks. <laughs> Uncle Ed's been here for a year helping us, trying to get us to get the certificate of occupancy. And he's gonna show me something um, that I actually, I've heard, he's told me, but I'm gonna go see it for the first time. Flex line, there was nothing ever connected here to uh -huh. this gas. All these things were just with a regular flex line. So it had to be hard pipe because the plumber, I mean the inspector wanted to see it. So every. Every unit, AC unit, any of these units are now hard pipe, as you can see it. Okay. It's called hard pipe. So, Uncle Ed did this. It was not done when we moved in, so he had to do that because yeah, he noticed all, that all it was done wrong. <sighs> and obviously, I had to pay out of pocket for that because it was not done properly. Exactly here. All these things were leaked. We kind of sealed them over and over. I know it's a maintenance thing, but a lot of this stuff didn't have this drain that's here. Yeah. So, every time it rained, guys, it puddle water here. Puddle. Like you could see like the flooring was not the roof was not to the pitch where it should have gone to the drain So we always had a, a, a water issue here mm -hmm. house leaks But it's just crazy like nothing was done right We were literally like scammed and it's so crazy because people use that word so lightly when it comes to us like the ace family Oh scam 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 and it's like no we've never scammed anyone We've been scammed multiple times over and over and over and over and in the future, we're gonna get into other things, you know, that have happened to us, but like, you know, obviously we're just gonna do this one what? Um, are, are you going in detail of like, kind of like, what was wrong with the house? Or are you just- Yeah, to yeah, that? so another thing in, that was wrong with the house- um, The pool? Oh, oh my God, the freaking pool. The pool was the scariest thing. Oh ever. my God, oh my God. Okay, so I have to talk about this. So, remember when Austin went in the jet ski and like the neighbors were complaining and this and that, and we didn't really speak on it because like, well, now I can finally speak on it. So I'm going to speak on it right now. Okay. There should be nothing wrong ever, ever, ever with an owner of a home doing anything he wants with his pool. You got a pool, you freaking happy as hell. You, you want to put a freaking jet ski in it, you put a jet ski in it, right? But this is the issue. There was no retaining wall built around the bottom hill of our house because the, the, the builder. builder didn't build one. He didn't get a certificate of occupancy. He didn't get anything approved. Nothing was done right. We didn't know. Basically, we had a half finished house. We had a, no, not even like maybe 30% finished. Like yeah. the house is still not even finished. And like the bones of the house is, aren't even good. Like the, the, like the finishing on the house, terrible. I'll give that a zero. The bones, I would give that like a 10. A, a 10. Uh, and that's like to, to 100, right? Um, the, the land, 100. Beautiful land. Yeah. But like everything else, trash, right? So now let me explain. So the pool, so the pool. Okay, so the so pool. The retaining wall was an issue because that's why the water was seeping over to our neighbor's yard and that's why they, you know, 
were upset about everything. Also, the pool also had cracks in it, meaning like there was a possibility for this pool to literally just explode. It like could literally very much still happen, but thank God it's off of our hands right now because <laughs> it, that pool like is scary. Yeah, and the I, people I, I don't know if we should be saying this because someone just bought the house. <laughs> no, I'm gonna go in. No, the lenders like. But let's 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 so listen, the we were so scared that the pool is was just gonna like over Illegal. No, that no, shit's no, listen, like listen. Bad. We were scared the pool was just gonna explode and it was gonna cover our entire neighborhood, which would have been, oh my gosh. The overflow never worked because when it did, there was a leak that was creating other problems that yeah. we were never able to find. Yeah. So the pool was never plumbed right because you need, there's no way you should have two of these water to, to be able to clean the pool. So if you could see, the pool could only clean itself halfway. Yeah. So we should have had one more of those, but it was never plumbed right. See how it's dirty so, down there? Yeah, it's so never plumbed right. The uh, pool was created terribly. The of the, some of the tile was falling off. Due to the, the way the pool was leaking. Uh -huh. See, oh here, we had a little bit of a slide. Oh my gosh. I forgot about so this. So the water took up to the bottom and created problems for us. Yeah. It was a never ending problem for us here <sighs> with this pool. That's why I was never in my pool, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, yeah. if you yeah. really don't want to know the off, real reason. You know, it just was not a properly done. See, nothing ever comes to this way, you know, so yeah. because we don't have another um, where you could hook up another pump to clean it out. Yeah. It just was not done. We've had maybe five, six different pool, pool people come and give us the same. We're not just saying this ourselves we've been we verified it that everyone has the same story it's just not set up right and because it's not set up right it costs me more every month to clean it so what happens is it drains so much that it's unable to keep like the salt and like all of the products that they put into the pool so because of that I've had to spend like how much was it like a month like four thousand dollars three four thousand dollars just to clean my pool yeah, every month Oh it was just, the chlorine that was put into it, it would evaporate so fast because we're always having to add, add water to it. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's just a problem. Just to keep it blue. Just to keep it clean. Otherwise, it would just turn green. When we came to this house and we started looking at uh -huh. that there was electrical problems that we, the old issues. If you look at this, con, even when they finished here, this thing should have never been crooked like this and come into here. You, you can never get this to pass through the inspection. So to get this all fixed in here, you would have to dig this whole thing back up to get this properly done. If the inspector to see that, that was just another, another thing we would have to continue to deal with. We and this is not something I would have ever known or Austin would have no. ever known. This is something that Uncle Ed was like, guys, I just did a walkthrough to your house and it's a lot of work, guys. So It, it was uh, temporary hooked up to water heaters that never really were because Kathy yeah. and Austin didn't really know about that stuff. It was just they, they thought it's working, but it was re realistically they had... Uh, um, instant hot uh, water heaters that were supposed to be hooked up, but they've been running on this. It's yeah. too hard to So that's it. why my, my water has been either really, really cold, like Antarctica, or really, really hot where it's burning my skin. So I literally would have to take quick, quick, quick showers every single day. The builders, man, you guys are some fucking... <laughs> shit, man. So, okay, the door man. was one thing. The... The, the floors are rising, like our tiles. I'll, yeah. I'll show a video, I'll probably input that. The floors are literally rising like the- Yeah, our floors uh, are, 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 are just basically coming off. So you can see that it's like lifting. Like my nail broke, because I've been moving, but like I can, like this is lifting everywhere. It's lifting, it's lifting. You see like, oh my God, like when you walk, you feel it so wobbly. Like imagine feeling your floors wobbly to a house that you spend so much on that you work so hard for. Oh my God, like this has been, and it's everywhere too, like cracks everywhere. This is so embarrassing. Like how did this happen? Look, like you couldn't even build the floors right. The, the ceilings are, you know, seeping through with the, the water <laughs> from the showers. The, the... I almost thought I 
died walking by the door one day yeah. because I thought the door was gonna fall on me and we literally had to get a new door and you guys were asking, well, why did you guys get a new door? So the door, as you guys have seen, it used to be this like plywood door that we thought was mah mahogany wood. You know, we paid really good money for this door and um, the guy uh, told us it was like 45,000. I remember reading it in the invoice. And I thought to myself, oh my God, that's so expensive. But I guess like that's how much it costs, you know? Like I, being naive and believing everything that I, you know, this door costs $45,000, yes. But the plywood door cost $2,000, maybe that. Um, and the reason we had to change it was because it was warping because you see how the sun is so strong here? It's so strong that it just started eating away at the plywood and it was like getting loose and it was warping inwards and it was so scary because I don't know like it's such a big door like we could have walked by and it could have killed us like it was it was literally falling apart so we ended up getting this door and I didn't want to tell you guys oh that's because our builder literally screwed us and we didn't, yeah. we didn't have a good door yeah. like, the door could have killed one of my kids like yeah. fuck thank god like yeah. Jesus As you guys know, Christ, we, we like, never we talk shit about people. We've never exposed people. We, we don't want to humiliate shit. anyone, but yeah, Jesus, but like, like, you fucked us over so bad. If you're watching right now, if you know what you did, like, I'm sorry, but this is the truth, and, like, now it has to I'm come sure out. this video was, I'm sure they realized this video was going to come out. Oh, uh, yeah, eventually. Okay, so you mentioned a couple of those things. Uh, mm -hmm. Anything else real quick with the house that we can just... So oh, many things. No, no, real quick. Those things outside, those yeah. water jugs. So, you guys may have seen, because <laughs> I'm trying my best not to show this type of shit in the video. <laughs> Um, we had these water jugs, literally water jugs, about six to eight of them. They're still there. Outside of our home. So these are supposed to be built under the ground. The builder obviously didn't know what he was doing, so he didn't do it. He forgot to do it. I guess he didn't know that you had to do this to pass inspection. So these have been outside like this at our home for... The entirety of our stay here all the years we've been living here it's been out here and it just looks terrible and obviously like it's not even supposed to be here like this so the, the thing with those things is they're supposed to be underground but the builder did it yeah they're supposed to be underground right. he didn't do nothing right it's supposed to be underground so no one sees it because no one's supposed to just have these laying out but the but Ace we, family, but we, we just told. had them out in the open as if they were <laughs> new cars but we were told that after we got signed off the certificate of occupancy, we could remove, remove them. them. Yes. We never got it, so yes. that's why they're still there. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, There's so many other things wrong with the house, but we'll see. We can end it there. Oh, the whole like lot to the side, like that whole like, it's just dirt. Yeah. It's not dirt because we wanted it to be dirt. It's dirt because we never got the certificate of occupancy, so we, we could not do any. You can't legally do anything on another parcel yeah. if you don't have something signed off. Yeah. We were supposed to build another building there. Uh, make a long story short. Yeah. Like another thing too is like I have to say this is like if if it was true that we weren't paying our bills, okay, this is like the 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 narrative people want to give it. If it was true that we didn't pay our bills, why the freak would I spend forty, fifty thousand dollars on like my gardening and get all this gardening done just a couple months ago and literally show it to you guys on our channel like why would why would we do that now the landscaping we did this ourselves independent contractor um actually for, out of palmdale so they came and they did this they quoted us um really well and the landscaping looks amazing so that part does look amazing the turf that we had over here looked amazing um so that's not a problem because that was someone we hired. Yeah, and a new door, we got a new door. Why would I, why would I spend $45,000 on a custom door 45. recently? I think it was more than that, but. Okay. Was it? No, it was 45. Okay. It was 43. Um, why would I spend that much on a door that I'm not gonna even live in the house? Like my goal was to keep and save my home. My goal was to keep putting money into it. Yeah. And that. And you guys know what she hates. I got a damn boxing ring at the house <laughs> yeah i hate the freaking boxing i had people build a boxing ring in my backyard literally because we felt like we were going to be there forever yeah right? and if you notice the reason why we've never finished furnishing our house was because intuitively i knew we were never gonna stay that long because i was just like we're never gonna get there's, there's, too, many the issues, yeah. there's too many so issues so many issues why am i gonna spend so all this money like making my house beautiful when the yeah. shit's freaking falling apart yeah 
So intuitively, I was like, you know what? Let me just wait. Let me just wait. Let me just wait. And so we got this guy, this contractor, Jamie. If you're listening, like, man, like you are realist person. Like yeah. you are. You're a good dude. He. You're yeah, a Jamie, such a good Jamie's dude. a guy who's known my dad for some years now. He actually built my father's house. Um, so he came in when all this disastrous shit was happening to try to help try us. to help us but so he even like because he's ridiculous. based out of palmdale he even got like his uh license in woodland hills area just so that he could help us did he really yes he did he, really? my, he's a fucking good ass dude man Damn. he even and we even hired uncle ed uncle ed's been at our property for one year yeah. just fixing shit like little shit po plumbing this that we literally hired him he works at our house five days a week uncle ed thank you so much for being here like yeah. I'm like he really tried to help us and like he's gotten into some big arguments with the city because okay So this is another thing. Oh my god So okay, so we never got the certificate of occupancy, right? We got screwed all this stuff like I'm probably missing out on some things, but whatever Guess what happened? So we move into our house in August of 2019, right? I get pregnant in October, so I get pregnant with my son just two months later or was it September October I get pregnant with Steely and the freaking pandemic starts so the pandemic started nobody was working <laughs> nobody was freaking all at the whole city no one was in their the office the pandemic <laughs> no like it's like okay so i thought like i'm gonna be like completely 100 percent like up front with you guys i thought the pandemic was gonna be a blessing in disguise because we're like oh then that will give us another year or however long to get there such a bit occupancy like maybe this is a blessing you know made it worse <laughs> made it so fucking bad so let me explain to you so when you move into a home you get a lender right so you get a lender and that's like how you pay your mortgage right so a lender is usually like a bank and then you usually get like pay your mortgage for like 30 years right so we ended up getting a jumbo loan right the uh the, one of the reasons why i said that the um realtor screwed us this is how he screwed us right so he screwed us because when we were signing and getting the house when we were buying the house he said i'm gonna be able to get you a loan for this much and i was like oh okay that's good like that makes sense and he's like yeah like this is all i can do right so at the time i was like okay like let's do let's do it right like we can afford that like that's great and that makes sense because you know why wouldn't you put money into um real estate like eventually if we ever wanted to sell this it'd be great and the house was evaluated at the time at like 15 million so i was like okay that's cool right he got us a loan and ended up being double the price that I was going into it. Like I was like, he showed us the new loan and he was like, this is all that the lenders could do. And I literally almost had a heart attack. I was like, oh my God, like this is so expensive, but you know what? This is my house, fuck it. I'll just pay it and then it's gonna last for 18 months, right? So the, the loan was 18 months. Okay, let me explain something to you. When you get a loan, you usually it's like 30 years but because ours was a jumbo loan it was 18 months and then we're supposed to get another loan right so when the loan ends you're supposed to get a new loan but you cannot get a new loan unless you have the certificate of occupancy so what happened to us and this is what everyone saw like and everyone was questioning was that after the 18 months ends you're supposed to shop around and get a new loan. Nobody would give us a new loan because we didn't legally have a certificate of occupancy. So no one would do it. And then we found one person that was like, yeah, I'll give you the loan and you're gonna have to pay this, like, um, what's it called? We have to pay like, uh, uh, like a service fee. Uh, like they were like, you have to pay like interest. Yeah, interest. So they were like, you have to pay this much in interest. And I was like, oh my God, that's so much, but fuck it, we'll do it. What happened at the 18 months is I pay my mortgage like I do every month, every, every on time. Like, if you know me, you know that I pay my fucking bills. Like, for people to say, <laughs> for people do you to really? say, how can we trust? <laughs> for people to say that we don't pay our bills and that we're going broke, it's so yeah. crazy because one day we're rich and the other day everyone's calling us broke. And then every, one day everyone loves us and the other day everyone fucking hates us. And it's like, let's just, can you just freaking let us live? Like, okay, so, anyways, at, at the 18 months, I pay like uh, it's we direct pay. deposit <laughs> you pay. Oh, we, we pay the okay. mortgage so it just goes and then it comes back and i'm like what the hell why does money just come back into my account right because i i do all accounting and look at everything and stuff 
And then I call Alan, his dad, who helps us a lot with the house and uh, other things. And I'm like, hey, Alan, like, uh, what's going on with the, the lenders? Like, my, my, my money just came back. He goes, oh, like, they're saying that they don't want to do uh, do it anymore. Like, they don't want to, like, keep... Um, they don't want to they don't, they don't be the lenders anymore. Yeah, they don't want to be the lenders anymore. Like, basically, like, go frickin' go find somebody else. Yeah. And I'm like, but I can't find somebody else because I don't have stupid occupancy. No one's going to do it for me. Yeah. So then, and mind you, it's like $8 million or something. So like, even if I was a billionaire, like I would have just put $8 million to keep a piece of shit, right? Like, what the hell? <laughs> so anyways, so then, um, so then I'm like, whatever, you know what? I'm just gonna freaking keep living my life, keep doing what I do, just freaking be positive, just stay positive, Catherine, stay positive. And then one day I'm on like Instagram or something and someone goes, why is your house under foreclosure? And I'm like, what the hell? My house under foreclosure? So then I call Alan. I'm like, Alan, why did I just see this comment? Someone said our house under foreclosure. He's like, oh yeah, we just found out right now. I'm tr trying to figure it out for you. Another thing you guys have to know. During the pandemic, like during like the entire stay that we were living, we were living at our house. We had four different inspectors assigned to our house by the city and nobody ever showed up. Ever. They never showed up. They saw the packet and oh, how had, long had, that list was, and they had, were like, "I'm not going there." We had one guy come. He said, "This shit's fucked." <laughs> we, then we had one guy come, and he was like, "Yeah, no, nah, I gotta go." Like, no, he, he gave us a list of much. like. It's, he gave us a list of like ten different things that Uncle had said that like. It just was too much to like get done in a certain amount of time. And we were like, yo, we've already been here for over two years. And we already and like, spent hundreds of thousands of dollars fixing the mistakes that the builder did, right? But I'm trying to save my house. I'm trying to save my house. <laughs> you know, and then he's trying, he's like, I'm not ever leaving. I love my house. Like, we're gonna stay here. Remember? Like, you never wanted to leave. Every time I every time I bring up like us maybe leaving, you well, at the time, because I thought it was possible. Yeah. Like, so literally, I'm not gonna lie, like I didn't cry like all those years about this. Like I was emotional about it here and there, but I never talked to anyone about it. Like I just kept it to myself. Like for, for a little period during the beginning, like I low key like had some dark thoughts against these people who screwed us. You know, I was like really angry and I was really upset, but I was like, you know what? Let me just move forward, be positive. When I saw that person say, why is your house under foreclosure? I literally fucking lost it. I lost it. I like literally like I lost it and I broke down and I drove to my brother's house and I like was crying my eyes out and my brother's like don't worry and I'm like I have to speak up and he's like there's a time for everything never speak up when you're angry never speak up yeah. when you're upset and he's like you, and then I was like fuck I will sound crazy if I just get on my freaking snapchat and start crying about my house situation so you know my and then I wonder like you know sometimes I wonder what strength is because like we won't talk about things for so long that we'll like eventually be over it and then we're like oh we should we even talk about it now no one's yeah. talking about it and it's like is strength not talking about it at that moment or is strength like eventually talk like i'm still trying to figure out what strength is because it, are we fucking strong or not because i'm like we go through some shit and we don't say anything okay so anyway the lender said you know you're okay. not getting a certificate so, of occupancy anytime soon yeah so, so we're not so taking then, your money the deal's off the table we're, we're out of here so then our house went under foreclosure in, in the system. Like it literally just like, it's like, it just in the system and it just goes in foreclosure. No one gives a fuck about you. No one, yeah. no one says, oh, isn't this Ace family's house? Let me help them. No, no one gives a fuck, right? <laughs> just goes in a system and then it's foreclosure. And because we have like hawk eyes, like right. all over our shit, trying right. to find something wrong yeah. with us every day. Someone saw it and said, oh, let me make a video. And then all the little T channel nobodies yeah. who don't know what they're talking yeah. about. And is it, this, was this is what's crazy. This is what I have to say. Sorry for you. Keep going. Like, what? This is what's crazy. Wait, 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 like the video. fact that people were having so much fun oh, with yeah. this drama about our house. Like, like people, angry. No, 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 no. Like, people were literally like happy. happy that we were, that our house was like under foreclosure. Like yeah. they were weird that we were going to lose our house. Like yeah. people really thought this was like, the best thing that's ever happened yeah, to the world. Yeah, it's like, they were like, just like so happy to hear that. Like, like guys, great like, news. god damn. Like, like bitch, have, get out of your house. Like, have a heart. House. Like, have a heart. <laughs> like, and it's like, this is what's crazy is, this past year, 2020, 2021, has been the hardest years for anyone, right? There's been a lot of people evicted out of their homes. There's people that have lost their jobs. There's people that have like actually been evicted. Though. Yeah, people that have not been able to pay like their mortgage or their bills. Like, oh my God, like, the fact that people are joking around yeah. about something so serious when there's like no, there's really shit. people like e even if it really did happen to us why the hell 
are you saying all these condescending ass remarks and being so angry and bitter and just evil when like we're going through some shit clearly we're going through something maybe you don't know what it is but like why are you being so negative like what what's what does that do for you like does that bring you any kind of joy and happiness in your yes, life it like does. does it all it does is affect you like that's a frequency you're saying these words you're thinking these thoughts that's a frequency that's a reflection of you you're only getting that back to yourself so i just had to touch on that because i thought that was outrageous that people yeah. were laughing like especially especially the people like in our entertainment industry like if you're out here like making videos and joking around and like saying all this shit, i'm like shame on you like what are you doing like yeah. does that make you look good like is that funny to you like yeah, I get it, you're making some money. Like you got our fans to like click on your video and like watch your video, but like does that bring you any kind of like positivity to your life? Like what are you doing? Do you sleep good at night? Like I genuinely wonder. Like do you sleep good? Okay, so So anyways. You. So, so now okay, so, because we the our original lenders said, you know what? Okay, so this is one thing that I just actually learned just uh, like last week. So I was talking on the phone with my mother-in-law who actually called the lenders herself, asked the lenders a question and she goes, "Do you care about money or do you care about the house?" And they were like, "Well, obviously we care about money. We're not in the business of building houses. We care well, about up, money." You're missing a step though. What? The in between of like us the original lenders yeah. saying, "Screw you guys." Uh -huh and to to what happened the middle step is once the original lenders said screw you guys we're out of here then we were trying to figure out who was going to be able to carry our next loan but since we didn't have the certificate of occupancy we were unable to get a loan like no one wanted to get involved because the house was just so screwed um so now goes to you of we once the house went under foreclosure the house went, once it went up for sale once we sold the house it went like the lender, the original lender, ended up buying it back. Okay, so right? let me Is explain it. Yes, of course. So confusing. Yeah. So, okay, so this is what happened. So, once it goes into foreclosure, then, like, someone can buy it, right? Like, usually, like, a bank will buy it, right? Yeah. Because the bank, why, why do they buy it? They buy it because they can, it's an investment. They can make money right. on their money, right? So, the lenders who lent us that the, the loan for our mortgage, they said, screw you, we don't care about your 70K a month, yeah. right? We're gonna buy this gonna bitch buy for 10 you. million, yeah. okay? We're gonna buy it, that's what it was, uh, that's what um, the house was uh, uh, selling for, yeah. selling for 10 million. So they figured like, let me buy it because it'll save me money in any ways. Like I'm gonna flip this house and make X amount because we just got an appraisal just a couple months ago when all this shit was going out. Our house is worth $16.5 million, right. right? That's what the appraisal like appraised it for, right? right? But because of our situation, the lender was able to get it for, for 10. 10 million. Okay, so he got, so they bought it for 10 million. You know what, I've lost complete attachment to this house. Yeah. I'm not happy with this house. It's brought me a lot of like negativity. It's caused a lot of damage in our lives. It's made me really sad. It's made me depressed walking in there like just every day. It's just like very depressive, but depressing. Um, at that point, like it was affecting our lives so much where we didn't even want to film. Like it was just like, it was all around bad, right? Just to be completely 1000% transparent with you guys, the truth is, is that we let go of the house. We didn't want it anymore. So we made that decision when it went under foreclosure because if we really wanted to keep it, we would have kept it. It would it would have still been our house. We would have made something work. We basically let go slash like. But so, we would, we oh, still no, wouldn't have had the certificate occupancy. No, we we basically let it go. I hate when you say let it go because we basically let it go, half sold it because we put millions of dollars in this house. Yeah, we lost we lost <laughs> millions of dollars down the drain. Yeah. Nothing, zero. So for everyone probably wondering like, oh my god, my mind is so blown right now. Yeah, yeah. Like, why are you guys are you guys suing these people? Yeah. Like, what's going on? So so we were thinking about how to go about this situation because there's so many people involved. And the builder, who is like the main piece of this whole situation, um, we were doing our research and come to find out he was basically going bankrupt and he didn't have shit to his name. So a lot of times you can't sue anybody if they don't have anything. Because uh, it would just be pointless and we'd be losing Well, he money. actually paid all his debt with like everything that we gave him. So like... I don't know, I don't know yeah, if he he's just, saying this yeah. or not. But he was like, just screwing people over and over and over and over again. Just, when you screw a lot of people, then you end up to the point where like, you just have nowhere to go. You're just like, I just screwed so many people. Yeah, so he was using- Karma just catches up. He was you. using the people that he was screwing to pay off other people and other people and other people. And there's just a domino effect. Um, so basically, we were asked out and we weren't able to, you know, obviously sue him because he doesn't have anything and it would just be a waste of time and energy and money for us. Um, for me, I just, I just 
heal from the situation and I'm pretty much past it now. One thing about lawsuits is like, you can unlawfully sue someone just because you want to like make a point or you want money or something, whatever the case is, right? So like, we've never sued anyone unless it was like, we're suing because you did this. We've only, we only have one lawsuit that we've sued somebody and that we, we only have two law, we have two lawsuits against us, right? And one of them is like completely like un like it's thrown out, right? It was thrown out, already thrown out, actually, already settled. And then the other one is um, with YBX. Yeah, the f the and that the one's going into settlement right now. So okay, yeah, just throw all this or something <laughs> like that. Yeah. But like a, a lawsuit doesn't mean that like oh you did something wrong. Like if someone sues you, it doesn't mean you did something wrong. It can mean like there was miscommunication or like. There is like, you're not agreeing with your partners or something or yeah. something happened. It doesn't always mean something bad. Like people have lawsuits all the time. Yeah. Um, just throwing that there. But as far as like us suing anybody, like we should be suing these people, but like, yeah, time and energy. Like I'm just so over it. Like I just want to move on. Yeah, I lost millions of dollars. We lost millions of dollars in this house, but we just got a new house. And we're probably going to get like five more houses in the next 10 years. Like. We'll, we'll, we're gonna invest. We're gonna get more homes and more homes and more homes. Like this is not the end of the world. Yeah, this was a bad investment. We cameras about that. Let me change it real quick. Sorry, I had to cut you off. Before we finish this video, um, as far as like where we stand now and like what we're doing is we just uh, found a house that we just got recently built. It's beautiful. Um, we're it's, very excited about it, by the way. It's really, really beautiful. And it has the certificate of occupancy. It's freaking, it has gas? <laughs> it's like, done. what the hell? It has heated floors? Yeah, yeah. Just so you guys know this, I'm just putting it out there. We were going to laundromats to wash our clothes because we Damn, didn't have- Damn, you put have, all our business out there. Like, oh my God, I forgot to tell them about the freaking gas leak. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Okay, so- like I know as you can tip, as, <laughs> it keeps going wait you guys have to know this okay and like I know we've been laughing and stuff because we do now like we we're it's over not, it it's not that yeah we're over it we're over, it. over it and like we've already it? healed past this you like healed? Oh, you did heal you after, did heal. after we post the video I healed I know and because we got a new home okay. um but we freaking almost died facts explain why though I don't mean to like smile because no, it's no. really No, no. So we had a gas so we had a gas leak. Was that home? No, you were home. So we had our so we have 24-hour security at our house and he's like smelt something. He smelt like yeah. gas. And so he came rushing into the house and I was in the bathroom and he's like you guys get have to get out of here right now. Grab your shit. Don't even grab anything. Just grab your kids and leave. So I'm grabbing like I freaking grab my passports and I grab like a little, little bag shit, and yeah. I put diapers. At the time I was pregnant with Steel, I grab Alea. Um, uh, Yesenia was with us. She grabs L. Uh, we rush out of the house. Austin's like, "What the hell's going on?" He's driving home. He's like, "What the hell's going on?" We literally got a hotel because we literally had a gas leak and we didn't know. And it was like literally coming in the house. And if you know anything about gas leaks, the only person that can fix a gas leak is the city, like somebody who works for like the gas inspection or whatever, whatever it's called. What? Yeah, guys, we're trying our best to explain a lot of this shit. We, yeah. we don't know the terms. And <laughs> yeah, so it's like, we've this. been learning, you know, along the way. But anyway, so because that was the case, we had to wait for the city to come out and it was this huge thing. And so like, because like, nothing was, nothing was done right. Nothing was built right in this house. The whole shit, piece of shit. It's worth one dollar. Okay. <laughs> okay. So good news is we found a house, mm -hmm. and it just recently got uh, finished being built. No one's ever lived in it. It's beautiful. It's so nice, and it brings me a lot of homey vibes, and it makes me really happy when I'm in it. And I feel like I can finally be happy for the first time in like three years that I live in a working, functioning home that's legal. But I will say. This time around, um, we're going to probably be more private about, you know, where we live and the house we live in, right? Mm -hmm. um, we had to learn we, from yeah, we, our mistakes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Will we show you the house 1000% yes, because our home see. is our office yes. and that's where we film out of and we're actually yes. really excited to announce that we're actually doing Ace Miss this year. So, and for all the we people- We are? Yeah. 
And for all the people, you guys need money. That's why you're doing, that's why you guys film. Whenever we film, you, they need money. money. We've been filming for almost six when years. I, so yes, we're definitely gonna give you guys the new Ace Family house tour mm -hmm. very soon. It's gonna be strategic, cause not showing the outside. Mm -hmm. Not showing much. <laughs> no, we're gonna show the house. Cause you guys are gonna try to just find not it. Like we just don't want the outside. everything to be all over the internet anymore. So it just sucks because like it takes away from like who we really are because now we have to do things a certain way, and it's like. I hate when people are like, oh, you guys have changed. And it's like, no, we have not changed. It's we, We've definitely 1,000% evolved. And that's what you should be doing as a human. You should be evolving and learning and taking your wisdom with you and um, teaching others. And, like, that's one of our missions here in this life is, like, we're meant here to, like, to, to teach and to sh share our lessons yeah. and share our knowledge. That's a great point. So to close this off and to finish it, guys. <laughs> you try to tell us you try to tell us where we have to go. No, 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 not that. I'm saying like, take this as a learning lesson. Use us as an example. Please, please use us as an example. Because please, when it comes to please purchasing, keep this in your mind. Uh, yeah. Even if you're not planning on purchasing a home for 10 years, you yeah. always keep this so, in your mind. So when it comes to purchasing a home or building your own home, there's so many different things that you guys have to be you know looking out for yes educated on educated on make sure you got the right team the right people involved make sure you shop around as far as like loans make sure like try to get i mean in my opinion conventional loans are like the best and like make sure to like do all your due diligence make yes. sure that when you're moving no, in the house make sure that everything's guys. done because like i said we're we're definitely not the only ones i keep always preaching her is like this happens very often we're, we're not the only ones that this happens you obviously our situation happened at such like a, a high level um, that end up being you know worse than maybe most people but this happens very often so so again please take this video and learn from it we've learned we've learned so much from the situation so much and now we're moving so on to you know better things and like I will say this will never happen to us again yeah this and and for me I always look at life as like everything happens for a reason and there was a reason why this happened and there's a reason why we are moving into a new home um and i feel like we are on to you know better things i'm very excited i'm happy and i feel like you're happy now that this video is over finally <laughs> she didn't want to make this video for so long guys just the fact that i filmed it it was so healing for me yeah. like this is like oh my god like this my throat chakra has been like this closed for so long and now finally it can like <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> um so yes, for those people who are still are watching, thank you so much for tuning in as always. Um, anything else before we close it out? I'm trying to think. We're actually getting ready to hop on the plane to get back to our babies. Yeah, we literally just took like a little like honeymoon vibes vacay yeah. for a couple days. I'm actually happy that you brought the camera because we actually really should have, and I'm glad that we did film this away from the kids so that we can just focus and like get it done. Because sure. as you guys know, the kids are literally always like with us and around us, so... And this video seems to be an hour long, I think. An hour? <sighs> you love you're that. You love here. that. I love you so much! She loves when the videos she, are so long. She's like... You're still... Oh my god, God she bless loves, you. <laughs> she's like, trust me, they really enjoy watching our long videos. And I'm like, Catherine, no one wants to be watching an hour long video of us just rambling. But I guess this is a video that we're allowed to ramble because... Oh, and then for everyone wondering what the hell is going on with Catherine's channel. She said she was going to make a channel. I am still making it. But the thing is, is that um, when I started filming, it was with a different like um, aesthetics because it was at the house that we're yeah. currently in. And so I decided um, that instead of like continuing and doing all, having all my inventory of videos that I want to post, I decided to give it a... Um, Give it a second till I move into the new house so I can really set it up. Um, huh? I said you're just gonna postpone it for a little bit. Yeah, I'm just I'm postponing it for a little bit, so it's coming. And so then regarding coming. my boxing and the situation with that, I will be able to address that like very soon within hopefully the next week or two. Good news. Very good news. Only. Yeah. Only good news. Don't think don't think negative. Don't yeah, think yeah, the yeah. worst. <laughs> I know you guys. Like, you're always thinking the worst, man. Think uh, positive. It is crazy because I tell her like. We're going through so much at the same time, like that 
it's pretty crazy. Like that just doesn't happen. Like it's happening. I for would a reason. say let's write a book, but I think we gotta make a movie with it. <laughs> a fucking movie. Uh, but yeah, everything that we have been going through is all coming um, to light. Coming to light, but in a positive way yeah. at the same time, which is yeah. really good. Yeah. Really good. Man, we're so we're closing out. We're closing this year out we're on a positive so note. Going into the new year. Positive. 2022 is a really new energy, like a yeah. very, very good energy. It's, we're coming into this one. It's yeah. going to be amazing. Stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. Is that it? I think that's finally it. I, I hope I said everything. I know. I'm sure we're getting on the plane to be like, I forgot to say that. I think it was everything, though. Honestly. Like, genuinely. Like, I, I've been rehearsing this in my <laughs> head for, like, two years. Um, yeah. It right, just guys. is what it is, you know, at the end of the day. Yeah, it's yeah, like, it is what it is. Moving on, moving on. We're strong, we're some strong ass people. And are. the Ace family here watching us are very strong too because they always have our back. Most of you. <laughs> it's just sad because like, there's so much shit going on in the world. Right when you said that the sun came out. I know. Oh, oh, that, was, that was dope, that was dope. I'm not sure if you guys caught that. Hell. But it's just really sad to like see a lot of like messed up things and like, bad things going on in the world right now that like There's you'll so see like one minute like yeah like on. one minute you'll see like you know someone like doing great things and like at a high right and everyone's supporting them and then like when they're all of a sudden, yeah away. all of a sudden they go through like human experiences yeah and then all of a sudden like that those same people that love them now those same people like hate them and it's like damn like you guys are you guys really like fans like do we call you guys like fans or, they're family or, but then it's like you're not family yeah it's like wait wait a minute like how are you guys able to switch up so fast you know yeah and it's, and it's, it's like just, a it's bandwagon thing yeah it's, it's like sad. what's trendy like oh it's trendy to talk negative about this so i'm just gonna do it or yeah. oh i saw this comment so i'm gonna believe it yeah. and we're not just talking about us we're talking about like we're talking just, about everybody yeah like we're talking about other people that go through you know situations and hard times um, and everyone goes through hard times, guys. Everybody, yeah. everybody, everyone, me, him, everybody, freaking all of us watching. Like, yeah. seriously, like, everybody is going through hard times. And, like, one thing that I learned, and if I can give any advice from my entire experience, is when you think that life is falling apart and everything is just bad, it's actually because you're gaining everything. You know what? You need to take your own advice. Because I did take my own advice. And we're going through we've been going through a rebirth the okay? many times that i have we've opened no 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 you guys don't want to know how many times me and Catherine argue about just staying positive because she is yes very emotional i just don't he's not human and he's not human you can say the crazy shit about austin as you still good as long like what as you have faith in the man above anything is possible and I preach that to the day I am no longer here. So, the fact that you just said that, take your own advice. And yes, everything is amazing. Life is amazing. Regardless, is amazing. regardless of what anyone goes through, We're life is a blessing. Here. And as like I said, like I always say, as long as you have your family and your person who is right by you and your kids are healthy and everyone is healthy, those are the things that truly matter because life could be worse. Always worse. Yes. Always worse. There are people out there that are struggling to live another day. Or there's people out there that literally lost the love of their lives in a second. Yes. And their entire lives change. Yes. Like, man, like there's people that like are just... You just they just want to be able to eat that day like yeah. that's the only that's the only thing that's on their mind yeah. and it's and, and so the fact that when this story came out and people were like laughing that we we're having these any this, kind of issue with, at all. with our house so when this situation came up with our house and people were like making it a joke about us i was like i, didn't, I wasn't upset because i hardly ever get upset about what people say about us you're disappointed but i was like disappointed in like Human, humans. Like humanity? Yeah, because I'm like, damn, like there's some real shit going on in the world. And this is what you care about? <laughs> this is what you care about? And this is what about. you're so bitter about? Like, I, yeah. I'll be seeing I'll like, like messages. Really think about that like, though. No, no, no. Get out of no, your house. No. Even your house. Real Don't quick, pay your bills. real quick, guys. They said, really think about this. Like, people were joking and like making it like funny that we were leaving or, you know, 
whatever the situation with their house was. Us and going, we have three us, babies. Ace family going bankrupt, and there's like real shit going on in the world. There's real really think about real that. Shit going on. Like, damn, you care that much. Like, there's, okay, let, like, let like me you, say, like you care that much about say, what the hell is going on. Let, let, can I say of the Ace family. The Ace family is that strong. Can I say it? And Ace family is most strong ass family. Can I say? The Ace family is most strong ass army. That's all I gotta say. I wanna say. God damn. I wanna say quote. But people are busy counting your money while you're sitting there counting your blessings. Ooh, count your blessings. I like that. <laughs> count your blessings. Ooh. Stop counting my money. <laughs> count my blessings. Damn. And uh, damn, this is why we're still here, man. And, like it's a frequency thing. And like, unfortunately, you guys feel and, it. And, and and unfortunately for you guys, we won't be living on the streets. We'll be going to a new home. So. Keep watching. <laughs> oh, and that's another thing too, which I'll probably make this another video, actually on my channel, about our relationship. Like people want us to like not be together so bad. And it's like, why? Because the thing is, is that let's just say we weren't together, right? Everyone would be sad. Yeah. Everyone switch up on us. Yeah, Get back together. <laughs> I, d I love them together. I don't know what everyone talk about. Like, yeah. like pick, a <sighs> man. I'm make another video. Again, like we say, there's a certain time to talk about certain things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's a time for everything. But I think we're I think we're good here. Yeah. All yeah. right. So again, thank you all, Ace Family. As you all know, we can't thank you guys enough. For we have the best do. supporters. Nothing would be possible without you guys. We have the best fans in the world. Real quick, before we do close it out, should I just show them around? Now? No. Okay. Shit. I want to see. This penthouse is fire. I just want to show you. Look a little peek. So look real quick. So okay. So this is the kitchen. Um, you know, there's the stairs. It goes up. It's three levels. Like, look at this view. This view is insane. There's rooms there. Um, this is just a vibe. Like, I just had to show you guys because I think this is like one of the dopest penthouses I've ever seen, and it's always been a dream for me to be in a penthouse. So, yeah. Look at that booty. Ooh, that booty is. Mm, that's mine. Mm. So take a look, take a look, take a look. Wow. It's raining. Look at this view. This is insane. So nice. Alright, so now can we close up the video? Yes. Okay, we love you guys so much. Thank you all for tuning in as always. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like me and my beautiful queen always say. Oh, we're gonna really come back with more videos. Now guys, we can be like. We're gonna be back we on can our just shit. be ourselves and like. <sighs> like breathe like damn like this shit man it's freaking this has been hard so we're gonna really be back with some more video guys stay tuned and we love you guys so much peace